are running for State House District 45A and House Districts 45B, and also the two unopposed candidates for the New Hope City Council. The election will be held on Tuesday, November 6th from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. My name is Lois Wendt and I am a member of the League of Women Voters of Crystal, New Hope, and East Plymouth. The League of Women Voters is proud of its hist history of citizen education in our communities and provides these forums to help to make more informed decisions in local elections. The League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan organization. The views of the candidates are their own. We do not assume responsibility for the can contents of the candidates' statements. This forum is being cablecast in the New Hope City channel and will be replayed on Channel 12. Candidates may not use debate clips in their campaign ads. Uh, at this time, I'd like you to silence your phones. Our moderator this evening is Bill Johnson, a member of the Wyzetta Plymouth League of Women Voters. Bill? Good evening. It's my pleasure to be here and to serve as your moderator for this candidate forum. Please join me in welcoming the candidates in District 45 A and B who wish to become your Minnesota, Minnesota State Representative and the two unopposed candidates for New Hope City Council. All right, the format for the first part of this evening's forum is uh, fairly straightforward. The New Hope City Council candidates are unopposed and will each have up to three minutes to speak to their wish to retain their seats on the council. There will be no question period afterwards. Um, the candidates drew lots, there's no prizes, but um, they drew lots to see who goes first. And so we'll begin with a three minute statement from uh, Mr. John Elder, Mr. Elder. Thank you. For starters, thank you to the League of Women Voters for allowing us to be here. I'd like to talk kind of basically over what's been going on the last four or five years in the city of New Hope. Redevelopment and housing is the number one concern or a very high concern for this council. We have a $43 million, 182 unit luxury apartment building going up in New Hope. That's something that New Hope has not had. Parkview is completed. It's a 60 unit single family home uh, construction development. We have a $4.4 million three-story assisted living pro, uh, facility going in through Good Samaritan. We have a very active scattered site housing program. We have seven uh, pr uh, projects in process right now. It's where we tear down, we buy dilapidated homes, demolish them, and sell the lots to uh, builders who are putting in much nicer, much larger homes. That's helping our tax base. High V benefits continue to spin off as we see uh, McDonald's doing a $450,000 renovation project. We'll be opening a new city hall and police station uh, slated for July of 2019, necessary to provide adequate workspace, to provide secure and safe storage and larger storage for uh, evidence and records, as well as meeting all of the Department of Correction standards that we face. Our new aquatics facility will be opening up after that. It'll be a eight lane, 50 meter, 50 meter pool that the state legislature was good enough to give us $2 million out of the bonding bill. Very, very appreciative for that. That is going to have uh, benefits to us and to the community for swim uh, clubs that would like to come out and rent that facility. In 2014, we started a pavement management plan for our streets that gets uh, reviewed annually and that is helping keeping our roads in decent shape. Um, and we continue to work so that there are no assessments to taxable properties. Park and Recreation has been hopping as well. We have developed a 10-year plan for the development of our parks and facilities. A long-term financial plan has been put together for the ICE Arena for capital improvement projects. And a business plan has recently been developed for the New Hope Golf Course. A big number here. Since 2013, we have added $193,484,044 of reinvestment that was approved in the city through construction permits. Right now, what we have is a city council that's working together for the betterment of this community, and we're building the tax base, which is helping everyone. Thank you. I look for your support in November. Thank you, Mr. Elder. All right, now we will hear from uh, Mr. Jonathan London. 
Hello, I am Jonathan London running for re-election to the New Hope City Council. Thank you to the League of Women Voters for organizing this evening's forum. I am running for re-election to the City Council because I want to continue to improve New Hope. New Hope is a great community. We are lucky to continue to attract new residents as well as have, having many 50 plus year residents. Having grown up in, and lived in New Hope since 1976, I believe the city of New Hope was in its prime in the 1970s and 80s. Then in the 1990s and 2000s, I believe the city declined in some areas. I hope to revitalize the city through continued residential and commercial redevelopment. My priorities, if elected for a second term, are to continue to provide strong governance to ensure city services and public safety are efficiently and effectively delivered. Additional priorities include targeted business redevelopment and proactive ordinance enforcement. In my first term, I introduced performance management reporting to benchmark and track our city's performance in key areas such as community safety, public service delivery, property values, financial strength, and taxation levels. I introduced SMART, which stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic, and Time-Based Objectives to City Staff and Department Directors. I asked, for, I asked the Chief of Police to revive the Police Annual Report, and I demanded a long-run street maintenance plan for all 60-plus miles of streets in the city. I look to strengthen the use and effectiveness of these reporting measures to continue to drive improvement in New Hope. You can find these reports online. My biggest concern for the city is that after the issuance of $30 million of bonds to pay for the new City Hall, Police Station, Pool, Civic Center Park, uh, New Hope will have a higher city tax rate relative to the surrounding areas for the foreseeable future. I voted no on the bond issuance as I thought it was fiscally irresponsible. There is the possibility that the high tax rate could limit the city's ability to attract new residents, act on potential redevelopment opportunities, and continue strong asset and infrastructure maintenance. I support attractive city amenities without straining taxpayers. I am advocating for new single family housing near the ICE arena, new low interest rate loan programs, in addition to continuing to support the scattered site housing program for redevelopment of single family homes throughout New Hope. The scattered site housing program has been extremely effective in maintaining and improving the housing stock in the city. In closing, I am honored to have served as your elected member or your elected council member for the last four years. We have made progress in improving the city and I look forward to continuing that improvement. Thank you and I ask for your vote on November 6th. Thank you, Mr. London. Before we move to the next part of the um, candidate forum, how about a round of applause for our council members? Thank you. 